Hey boo hey, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today, girl, I am in the middle of doing my hair. Got my uh, Ulta catalog in the mail. We're talking 21 days of beauty. I said, oh no, we got to wrap this up. We got to throw on a t-shirt, put in some earrings. We're coming barefaced and beautiful so that we can go through what's going on, what's on sale, what I recommend, what I say to avoid, what I'm not interested in, all of the goodies. They've got a few surprise deals in there as well. We're gonna go through all of that. So here we go. So the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is a sale that they do twice a year. It is a daily deals type of sale. So for one day from the dates of March 12th through April 1st, select items are going to be 50% off. There's also gonna be a few surprise deals in there as well. And those will be exposed the day of like when they go live sephora also does something like this called the old snap sale well they where they will also meet so if you are more of a sephora fan definitely go over there check that out you'll still earn your points on the sale items as well as any of the regular items during the sale days again ultra's 21 days of beauty uh sephora's old snap sale so starting with the first day we've got sunday march 12th Looks like the Tarte Face Tape Foundation, the uh, Man Eater Mascara, and then the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream, and um, the Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum. I have not tried any of those items. The Man Eater has been around for a really long time. A lot of people seem to like it. It is usually on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty. The Tarte Face Tape Foundation, if you are a fan of the shape tape concealer this is kind of along the same lines of that i was not a fan of the shape tape i felt like it was super heavy it was too drying underneath my eyes it is really high coverage but it also wears and looks like it's really high coverage and i didn't like that so i have not tried this foundation i'm not interested in trying this foundation whatsoever also not interested in trying the tarte um what is that mascara peach and lily not really interested in trying any of those either. So no recommendations there. It looks like on Monday, March 13th, we've got some Urban Decay lipsticks. We also have a eyeshadow palette, which is the first time steal from Rem Beauty, which is Ariana Grande's brand. And then an Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. So collagen is really good for plumping the skin, fine lines, wrinkles, things like that. I don't have a lot of those, more so just underneath my eyes. But if you've got more mature skin, that may be something that you would want to check out. The Vice Hydrating Lipsticks have an array of colors. I don't believe I've tried any of those. Not that I can think of right off top. But they are going to be more of a hydrating lipstick. With the colors that are on the website, I may need to pick up one. I've really been into like a crazy hot pink color, especially like for the summertime on deep skin. Yes, baby. We need to be up in there. Tuesday the 14th, we've got some nude sticks, which is also a first time steal, and then the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I think I picked up the Derma Blend Setting Powder at one point and then ended up returning it, but I'm kind of interested in trying that. Nude sticks, not too much. Yeah, I can't see myself doing that, but the Derma Blend might be something that I put on my radar. Wednesday the 15th, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and then the Murad Target Wrinkle Corrector. Both are going to be on sale. The Stay All Day Waterproof Stila, uh, yeah, not for me. Not for me and my oily eyes. It did not work. Um, so that is not something that I would recommend. I know that it has a cult following and a lot of people love it. It's been around for years. It's like one of their best selling products, period. I mean, I don't know many other products by Stila other than this, you know, from the YouTube and makeup space but for me it just mm -mm, it was all bad looks like for thursday Too faced cosmetics the lip injection plumpers the stravectin super c retinol um, and then they're also high dietary supplement no lip injections needed here we're good on that tip uh stravectin and cerevital not interested in either one of those vitamin c retinol that's going to be really good for anti-aging i mean retinol is like the end all be all for skincare like it does everything evening skin tone fighting fine lines wrinkles brightness gently resurfaces the skin acne like it it is all of that in a bag of chips so if you were interested in trying 
the straight back thin one, which from what I hear is a really good, potent, little bit goes a long way kind of formula. Um, that would definitely be the time because it would be only $36, which isn't horrible. On Friday the 17th, looks like we've got the Clarins Double Serum and then the Lancome La Vie Spell Parfum. I actually own that perfume. I have it in like the little travel size. I really, really enjoy it. Like it's a grown and sexy kind of scent. I don't know that it has vanilla in it, but to me it smells like it may have just like a hair of vanilla, but it is such a good like when I'm feeling myself, when I'm all dressed up, after like a night where you know i take a shower i shave my legs i do self-care all of that it's kind of one of those that i like put on when i've got on like my silk nightgown like it just gives me like that feel you know what i mean like it's just yeah so it doesn't look like the minis would be on sale the travel size because it looks like it'd now be 42.50 to 72 dollars. so it's probably going to be at least the one ounce I would check that out because typically the travel sizes are around $30, $35 anyways. You might as well just get the one ounce for the $42.50. Saturday the 18th looks like we're looking at a first time deal from Benefit Cosmetics. It is their powder blushes. Clinique's going to be doing their dramatically different lotion and gel and jelly. And then um, Fenty for first time deal is going to do the Pro Filter Retouch Concealer. I think I have one of the Benefit brows. If I'm not mistaken, I'm sure I do in my collection. That's how you know you got too much makeup. But I love makeup, so here we are. They do blend out really well from what I remember. I should probably pull it back out and retry it. But it does blend out really well. They are pigmented. I think I got Shelly or something like that because it's almost more of like a topper for me. I can't really use it as a blush. But I may try one of the deeper tones and see how that works. The Clinique lotion that's a holy grail i absolutely love that on my oily skin i do feel like i notice the difference in regards to like my oil control things like that so that is definitely something to pick up for sure the pro filter retouch concealer it's okay i don't i can take it or leave it i have it in my collection it does crease because it's supposed to be like anti-creasing it does crease i've got fine lines i've got wrinkles underneath my eyes it does Week two, we get into one of my favorite products ever. I'm so excited about this. Sunday, March 19th, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which is a first time steal. It's gonna be on there. Uh, looks like we've got Kills, which is also a first time steal, the Midnight Recovery Concentrate, and the Anastasia Brow Ultra Slim, which is repeating. Like that one's been on there, I don't know how many times before, and they continue to do it. So it must work for them. But that uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear, that right there, that right there. Oily skin, dry skin, normal skin. It is absolutely fabulous. I am on my second bottle. It is flawless. It's great wedding makeup. It's great everyday makeup. It's super lightweight. Gives a natural matte finish to the skin. Comes in, I think it's like 56 colors. So everybody's got a shade. Like you're bound to find your shade in this. I absolutely love this. The undertones are fantastic. They're not too red. They're not too pink. They're not too peach. They're not too gray. They're not too beige. It's absolutely wonderful. I am planning on picking that up. Like the color that I have now is a little bit deep for me. Um, it's more of like a summer shade. So I do want to pick up more of like where I'm at now just so that I can have it. It's an absolute holy grail. It's absolutely worth all of the hype that it gets. It's beautiful monday march 20th we've got the smashbox primers uh looks like we've got the stila hue highlighters and the close rx master patch set i've not tried any of those none of those interest me to try them um, if you would recommend any of those items to try let me know down below in the comments tuesday 21st we've got some urban decay uh, shadow sticks the bare minerals gin nude which is a first time steal it's their powder blush and then the Beekman Milk Drops. The Bare Minerals, maybe I'll have to check out the colors because I know that Bare Minerals is very particular and aware of the crowd that they are wanting to attract. And I don't know that I'm in that crowd. So they may not have colors that would suit my skin tone very much, but I would want to check out maybe one or two of the blushes. Wednesday the 22nd, we've got Jaclyn Cosmetics, uh, her base sunbathe pressed powders tinted is going to have their first time still of some hue sticks color correctors and multi-stick 
And then Origins. I didn't even know that Origins was still around. Like, I haven't seen anything from Origins in a really, really long time. You got their SPF 40 Energy Boosting Tinted Moisturizer. None of those interest me whatsoever. I have not been on my radar. Will not probably be on my radar. 23rd, Lancome, the whatever their eye cream thing is. Nine and Triple Serum. Not going to butcher that name. And then Maylie's B-Flat Belly Firming Cream. Now, I'm going to need all the assistance I can get with a firming belly cream. But um, I also need to learn a little bit of self-discipline. So as much as I want for this to do miracles, like I need the hand of Jesus to be in this bottle so that when I rub it on my tummy, I know what's going on and I can see some difference. But I doubt that that's what's going to happen. I doubt that that's, that, that that's not it. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on the shelf. Um, and I'm just going to work on getting my life together. Friday the 24th, cult favorite, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then Clinique, first time steal of the Clinique Happy Perfume. I don't understand the hype of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I struggled with smudging, flaking, raccoon eyes. It was in my eye. It was all over my eye. I know that a lot of people love it. Like, it's their best-selling mascara, period, point blank. But for me, I did not experience the joy and the happiness that everyone else is experiencing. So I will not be picking that up. I have had the Happy Perfume. It's okay. It's a good everyday perfume, but it's not something that I feel that needs to be in your collection. Wrapping up the second week is Saturday, March 25th. Uh, it Cosmetics. So their CC and Illumination SPF 50 and their brushes for Ulta are going to be on sale that day. I have not tried any of these. Um, anything with Illumination, I'm not really a fan of, a glow, things like that because I have oily skin. So I don't really need any glow. I don't need any assistance. Once my oil comes through, it looks like I have all of the assistance that I need with that. The brushes though, I mean, I don't really need any brushes, but I have been wanting to try them. I've heard that they're really good. I heard that they're really stable, that they, you know, don't fall apart, that I shouldn't have any of the bristles coming out, things like that. So 12 to 18 bucks, I may pick up one or two. I'm not quite sure on that yet. During that week, it does also look like there's a couple of surprise steals. Oh, and I also forgot to mention the surprise deal on the previous week. So week one, let me go back. Week one, um, Friday the 17th, there's going to be something from Dermalogica. I have their daily microfoliant. I absolutely love that. Like I, every time I use it, there's a difference in my skin. And the texture and the softness and the smoothness that I feel with it. I hope that that's the one that's on sale. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I'm really hoping because I continue to buy just the minis because it is expensive. I mean, Dermalogica is expensive, but it does work. So I'm hoping that that's what they put on the surprise steal. We will find out on March 17th. Friday, March 24th, we've got something from Peter Thomas Roth. And then Saturday, March 26th, we've got something from Buxom. So let's hope that it's all really, really good stuff. The third and final week, Sunday the 26th. We've got the Max uh, Prep and Prime Fix Primer and Setting Spray. We've also got the Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. And then for first time still, the Tula Cult Classic Cleanser. I'm not a fan of the Setting Spray or the Studio Fix Powder, um, but I am interested in picking up this Tula Cult Classic Cleanser. I have the scrub. Um, there's like a blackhead scrub that Tula has, and I've really enjoyed that, but I only enjoy that mixing with the like a face wash so i'm wondering maybe if pairing those two together i may like those from what i understand it's going to be a light like a lightweight gentle cleanser so it's going to be on sale for 12 dollars, which is right around where drug price drugstore prices are now so i might just pick that up march 27th looks like we got the kvd pencil eyeliner um, the minted cosmetic lip liner and lipsticks and then the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protector Lotion. 
the Mindy Cosmetics lips. I do own two of those. One in like a pretty in pink and then one is in a peach color. They glide on so smooth. They stay in place so well. I don't notice a lot of transfer. They're not matte, so they don't like dry down, dry down. There's a little bit of movement, but they're super creamy, super soft on my lips. They don't dry them out. They don't sink into any of the lines that I notice. Um, so I may pick up a few more colors of those. Great on dark skin. Like Minted is a Vlaca owned brand. So the tones and undertones of their products are meant to complement deeper and darker skin. So that's definitely something that I'm interested in. The other ones, not so much. Tuesday, March 28th, Grande Brow is going to be on First Time Steel, Loactane, the Almond Shower Oil, and the Sunday Riley Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. I have been wanting to try the Grande Brow. Like YouTube, Instagram is getting me with that. I don't have full brows, as you can tell. So I'm, I'm starting to get quite interested in that. I actually was just talking to one of my friends about it. Like I'm, I might need to pick that up and just try it and see if it's worth the hype. And now that it is uh, gonna be half off, I believe that that is a sign from the Lord. So we're gonna pick that up for sure. This almond shower oil, I need to smell it. I already know what this smells like because people be putting scent descriptions in their name and it don't smell nothing like what you think it's supposed to smell. So I, um, I'm on the fence on that one, but it is going to be only $14.50. So we will, we'll see. The 29th, Dermalogica does have their daily glycolic cleanser. Urban Decay has their 24-7 eyeshadows, which excludes moon dust. My understanding is that moon dust is like the most popular shade right now, so... That's really strange. And then uh, Exuvius, I think that's how you pronounce the brand, at home facial pills. Hmm. I might pick up that glycolic cleanser. I feel like I have a glycolic cleanser in my to try pile. So I don't know that I really like need another one. Mm, we'll see. The 30th, which is gonna be a Thursday, Benevic Cosmetics, their professional or professional. Primers, Philosophy, Purity Made Simple, um, One Step Facial Cleanser, and then Saint Tropez, the Self Tanning. None of those are really of interest to me. Um, I've tried the Professional Primer, and it is not for my skin type. It's very silicone based, so if you've got normal skin, if you've got dry skin, it may be a good option for you. Once the silicone mixed with my oil, everything was just everywhere. Wipe my hand across my head, and makeup everywhere like and you could visibly tell that I had like swiped it like it just it just lost all of its I don't know the word I'm looking for composure I don't know it just I don't know it just was not it it was not it the 31st Bobby Brown uh, the vitamin enriched eye base and the first day beauty jumbo ingrown hair pads those I've been interested in trying. I heard that those are really good for like bikini areas. You know, if you go get waxed, if you shave under the arms, things like that. Anywhere where you may be prone to ingrown hairs. So that might be a really good one to pick up. I don't personally struggle from ingrown hairs or anything like that. But it may be something worth trying. The last day of the sale is going to be April 1st. We've got the Lancome Lash Edol Mascara, um, Kylie Cosmetics, the eyeshadow palette both of those are going to be first time steals and then her velvet lips uh kits when i first saw that eyeshadow palette i was interested and then i read the name and i was like mm -mm. Mm -mm. i just am not interested in anything kardashian like whatsoever i know the e doll mascara i am a little interested in i'm kind of like mm, do we need to get that do i need to try that do I need to see what's going on? It definitely has more of a unique wand to it. So maybe that adds with lengthening, separating. I'm not quite sure. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it, which is another reason why I'm kind of interested in it. Looks like they have a couple of surprise deals that week as well. March 31st, It Cosmetics has something coming up. And then Saturday, April 1st, Giorgio Armani. I don't think that that's going to be, from my understanding, um, any of the makeup because they don't carry Giorgio Armani makeup. So it's got to be some sort of perfume or cologne. I'm hoping that that's what it is. I'm hoping that actually it's a little bit more cologne for, you know, just for the men in our lives so that they can have something to try during the sale. 
but I'm pretty sure that whatever they decide is going to be perfectly fine. All right, so that is going to be it for the 21 days of beauty sale. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you are already not subscribed, please do so. Be sure to also hit the like, comment, and share, and hit the notification bell so you do not miss when I upload a video. I love you guys. May God continue to bless you, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.